the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 116, 1 Kings 9-10 to The court of Gentiles for all nations. God asked Solomon to keep his laws and decrees and then poured great grace and abundance in his era. First point. Like the time before entering Canaan, the regulations regarding blessings and the curses became reiterated with the completion of the construction of the temple and the palace. Right from the start, God had told the people through Moses of the blessings and the curses they would receive based on whether they obeyed or disobeyed God's commands. Likewise, with the opening of the temple, it was once again reiterated how the people would be blessed or cursed depending on their obedience to God. God emphasized to Solomon that it was important that his heart was in keeping with a kingdom of priests. God also warned of the curses that would follow if Israel did not keep to the covenant. Second point, David ruled through battles and Solomon ruled through architectural constructions. David fought since his youth and his whole life after that was full of battles. These battles helped strengthen the country. David had devoted a great deal of energy into stabilizing the country that during the days of Solomon, the country was finally at peace. Solomon was able to use the energy elsewhere and so he focused on architectural constructions. After constructing the temple, he started building his palace. For this, he used the Canaan slaves. However, he did not make the Israel people into slaves as per the law. Third point, Solomon led the country to prosperity through enabling the people to keep the three annual festivals of a kingdom of priests. During the days of Solomon, all the Israelites from Dan to Beersheba enjoyed prosperity. As Israel had made a business out of construction, the people were able to live in abundance. This was possible due to Solomon enabling the people to keep the three annual festivals of the kingdom of priests and also through international trade. Fourth point, the queen of Sheba prayed in the court of the Gentiles when she visited the Jerusalem temple. With the expansion of international relations during the days of Solomon, and especially with Hiram, the king of Tyre, trading with Israel, the surrounding countries started to come to Israel for various reasons. One of these people was the queen of Sheba. The queen of Sheba wanted to test Solomon's wisdom as well as see opportunities for trade. When she came, she realized that God had granted Solomon an incredible amount of wisdom. Her visit made historical records. She claimed that Solomon's wisdom was greater than his reputation. She also stated that the people of Israel were blessed to be able to hear Solomon's wisdom. She furthermore sang God's praises and gave gifts to Solomon. During her visit, she visited the Jerusalem temple and also Solomon's palace. Even though she was loyalty because she was not an Israelite, she had to go to the court of the Gentiles according to the laws of a kingdom of priests. Fifth point, Solomon's international relations 
became a path for blessing all nations. All of Solomon's wisdom came from God. But an unfortunate thing for Solomon compared to David was that he was not as sensitive to a kingdom of priests to the same extent as his father. According to God's laws, a king was not permitted to gather too many possessions or wives. But Solomon disobeyed this command. Solomon was not obedient to the laws in Deuteronomy. He failed to remember that the reason God gave him wisdom and wealth was because his father had obeyed a kingdom of priests, and because it appeared that he would as well. But as time progressed, his heart shifted from God. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading. This is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.